Hello, in this video we will check our system, our web server, um, our remote server uh, for which .NET version it has installed. So when we are writing an application it always needs a .NET framework on Microsoft. So there are several ways for to testing this one. First is to go you're going to local disk and then to Windows and in Windows you will find those folders so am I wrong or not? Here they are. Microsoft.net and then you see the frameworks and in the framework 64 you see here is uh, its version 4. Point, uh, v 4.0.31 so that's uh, pretty old. Uh, and I'm missing the version uh, 8 and 6 but we also have to think about this that under the Microsoft.net uh, you only see the uh, you won't see the runtime applications or runtime installations so therefore you also have to go uh, in here in the search bar type the apps then you see uh, apps and settings and in apps and settings you're looking for net and now you see the installations and you also see uh, further ex installations like the that runtime installation which was not visible on the other stuff so um, and so what we have to do is we have to take and that link we open our browser on our default target machine and in this case for example I have the .NET 7 installation I need the several several ones um, download .NET 7 and for me it would be enough to have the .NET run runtime I don't need the SDK for example because the SDK is only necessary if you do uh, development so on a machine you only need this one and on the modern machines you need the Windows 64 machines installations I see there is coming up this uh, stuff and you say download unverified file since you are on Microsoft this one and you may run it and now you're installing the runtime application uh, runtime framework which is enough on a, on a web server was installed successfully so and then you would also find out uh, this one under the apps again .NET. Now you see the .NET and you see the .NET runtime at version 7. 